using the iPad Calendar app. After viewing this video, you will have learned the basics of using the iPad Calendar app. To get maximum benefit from this video, it is suggested you view it on a computer while performing the tasks it demonstrates on your iPad. You can pause the video and rewatch portions of it at any time as needed. We're going to take a look at the basics of using your iPad Calendar app. When you set up your email account to sync with your iPad, it was suggested that you also keep the calendar syncing as well. If you did this, your calendar on your iPad will reflect exactly what is in your calendar in your Outlook account online. To open the calendar, simply tap the calendar app. And by default, it opens in day view. You can also, using the navigation buttons at the top, tap to view in week view, in month view, or in year view. Notice that no matter what view I'm in, a red circle indicates today's date, so it's easy to orient yourself. This teacher has already put some events on his calendar online, and so they're showing up here on his calendar on his iPad. To look at any details of any of the events, you can simply tap on them. So I'm going to tap on this faculty meeting that is scheduled for the 22nd and it shows me that this is something that repeats weekly. My iPad's going to alert me 15 minutes ahead of time. If I wanted to, I could tap Edit and change any information I need to change. I don't want to change any information here, so I'm going to simply hit Cancel. You can add appointments to your calendar from your iPad and it will sync up and show up on your online calendar in your Outlook account. So let's say, for example, on Monday the 28th, this teacher is going to meet with his principal about a curriculum idea he has for reading. Simply tap the plus in the top right corner of the screen. Give the event a title and a location. And then scroll down a little bit to give it a start time and end time. We're going to say that this meeting is going to start at 12.30 p.m. So I'm going to get the time in there. And I need to remember it's not happening today, but on Monday the 28th. So basically I'm just using my finger to uh, scroll through those dates and times and then it's going to last until 1.15 so I'm going to adjust that time as well. I can scroll down further and invite other people. I can set an alert for my iPad to tell me ahead of time when it's going to happen. So I could say give me a heads up 30 minutes before. I can also make a note to bring something to the meeting. Once I know all my information is correct, I simply tap Done. And you can see that the meeting has gone onto my calendar. I can always edit it if I need to change it. Sometimes appointments change or get canceled, so you can delete appointments from here as well. I have a parent meeting on the 18th that's gotten canceled. I simply tap the meeting, tap edit, scroll all the way to the bottom and tap delete event and then it makes sure that I really want to do it so I have to tap delete event again and now the event is gone from my iPad and my online Outlook calendar. One last thing we're going to look at is what to do if you get something in your calendar inbox. I can see I have something in my inbox down here in the bottom right corner because it has a one by it, so I'm going to tap that. Someone has invited me to a tech integration planning meeting. I'm going to tap this little arrow to see what that's about. So I'm just going to tap accept and this will put the meeting on my calendar as you can see here and it also sent a notice 
that I have accepted the meeting. Those are the basics of using the calendar on your iPad. This concludes our tutorial on using the iPad Calendar app. If you are watching this video as part of iPad Basic Training, please proceed to the next section as instructed in the online materials.